Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax, and I am back today with a PSA return. This is round 32. Uh, we've got just a very small round. This is actually a round I did not do a send-off video for. Um, it was so small, and I had to uh, get them out so quickly. Um, but uh, it is a fantastic round nonetheless. Uh, only two users, but um, some really kind of cool stuff in this particular round. I would love to go over it with you. So, uh, just want to hop right in. You'll have to kind of excuse my background a little bit. I know it's not super flashy, but uh, doing a lot of packaging and sorting as I'm trying to get these cards out as quickly as I can to the uh, respectful users and the respectful owners of these cards. Um, Again, huge thanks to everybody who has been so patient waiting for me to get these cards back out and film videos and film updates and uh, post-grade reports and all, all the stuff in between. There is a tremendous amount of work that goes into this, uh, more than I think a lot of people realize. It's not as simple as take cards, send the BSA, get them back, send them back. It, uh, there's a lot that goes into it, and I, you know, there's a lot of love that goes into it, too. So uh, big thanks to these two users. This is uh, The Skyless Show and uh, James B., uh, a couple of people who contacted me um, over Facebook. So um, again, for those of you interested in grading, uh, there will be uh, information there in the description. You can contact me through Facebook, YouTube, Skype. Uh, of course, uh, comments in the this particular video is good as well. Um, there are lots of different options. Contact me if you're interested in having your own cards PSA graded. So let's go ahead and jump right into round 32. Uh, we'll start right here with the uh, Skyla Show. Um, she did come back with one no grade, and that was this particular Pikachu. It's a shadowless Pikachu, and I actually kind of have this centered a little funny in the CS1 uh, just to show you guys. But the reason it came back as a no grade, it said uh, Pikachu Red Cheek Shadowless um, Recolored, which is not one I see a whole lot of. Um, typically, um, you know, in the past I've seen uh, evidence of trimming. I saw that on one card, and I thought that was a little strange. Um, typically, the reason I see no, gre no grades excuse me, is because... Um, PSA doesn't have enough information on it, or it's not listed on the form correctly, or it's not within their database, or, you know, personal opinion, sometimes I think they're just lazy and they don't want to look up the card. Uh, in particular, I see it a lot with Yu-Gi-Oh! because there are so many reprints in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s, but um, this one was interesting because this is the first recolored one I've got, and uh, looking at the front of it, there's no obvious, well, you know, there's a little yellow splotch or whatever present or apparent, but if you look at the back... And I hope this comes up really well on my camera. You can see kind of like a blue smudge right there on the uh, right there on the edge. See that? There's another one right right there. And there was actually some on the uh, opposite side as well. I don't know if I can catch it on camera, but there's a little smudge here. I think behind that sticker as well. What it looks like happened is you know this card is very old. It's you know 99, 2000 probably. Um, some my guess is some kid along the way just took a pen and just kind of colored the outside and it was roughly the same color and they thought nothing of it. Well, a few years later when it's a collectible card, um, that become that, you know, pen those pen marks become evidence of recoloring. So it doesn't have to be um, you know, a professional sitting there with a little paintbrush, you know, trying to cover up any whitening they might see. Um, it could just be somebody very absentmindedly taking a pen to the card and not thinking anything of it. Uh, you can see that. Um, obviously, if that's somebody trying to recolor a card professionally, they've done a very poor job of it. But um, that is something that PSA does catch. So, uh, unfortunately, this card came back as a no grade. But the rest of the cards that uh, Skyler Show sent were um, uh, fantastic. So we'll go through those now. Some of my favorites, uh, this is uh, Ancient Mew, a 9, a 10, and another 9. Actually, one of my favorite cards. I actually don't have one in my own collection. Um, sold one ages ago. Um, very cheap card, one that moves fairly quickly, um, and they're a very pretty card. They display super well. I have a Pikachu Shiny Collection. Sorry, I'm not getting this centered as I would like. The second one, Gem Mint 10. Keldeo. There's a 9 and a second 9. English and Japanese. Beautiful colors on the Keldeos. Uh, pretend Magic Carp. Pikachu Magic Carp, excuse me. Pretend Pikachus, that's what they are actually called, is Pretend Pikachus. A lot of times I have these marked on order forms as make-believe Pikachus. It's not entirely correct. And then uh, that rather interesting card is Imakuni's Nasty Plot, Series 3. 
see these every once in a while. The Yumikuni um, set of cards is um, fairly rare, but I see it enough on this channel that it's uh, always interesting to see it resurface. So that'll take care of that. We'll move on to James B. here, who sent a lot of very interesting stuff. Stuff I don't typically see on this channel, but I always invite stuff I don't see. Um, I love to see other forms of artwork and, you know, whatever uh, TCG or just cards in general you might be interested in. I love to see them. I love to see where my fan base is uh, at. So the, he sent a number of DC Comics um, cards. This is uh, a set from 2012. What was it? The New 52. Okay. Um, so some very interesting artwork on these. Animal Man. Uh, this is Batwoman. Came, came back as an 8.5. Captain Adam. 8.5. And I'm not real sure what PSA looks at in terms of grading these particular cards. Typically corners are a little more prevalent uh, in terms of uh, grading. Hal Jordan. Green Lantern. Gem Mint 10 for Superman. Almost seems fitting. Sinstro. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, from DC Comics. Uh, and then some really great Yu Gi Oh cards. Uh, Exodia. I believe that whole. I, I forget if the whole set is a 10. I want to say it is. It's a reprint set. Uh, not, not your original Legend of Blue Eyes. Ah, no. This one came back as a 9. But the rest of the cards were 10s. So. Close to a full Exodia set in Gem Mint 10. Hopefully he can pick up that arm. Uh, have another regrade and we'll we'll try it again. Electromagnetic Turtle. Dark Renewal. I love I love the shine factor on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I mean I, I kind of feel like a crow when I say that. Like, ooh, shiny. But um, oh my god, just some of these cards are just like look at that, look at that sheen. That's just amazing. These Yu-Gi-Oh cards display so freaking well. It, it's Amazing. Uh, this is a really cool card. No description or anything on it. Set sale for the Kingdom promo card. Duelist Kingdom. Very cool, beautiful artwork. Glory of the King's Hand. Obelisk the Tormentor. See a lot of the uh, God cards come through. See a ton of them, tons of reprints of them. Mirror Force. Swords of Revealing Light. Dark Magician. Gold Sarcophagus. Another Dark Magician. And I'm super happy all these Yu-Gi-Oh cards came back graded as well. I'm glad they didn't uh, drop any of them. Silent Magician. Level 8. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of these cards came back 10 and 10. I'm sure you guys can see the labels as I'm kind of passing through these but oh man just some of the artwork on these is just really blows my mind so much detail so much color depth you know I'll you know Pokemon's always had a place in my heart but oh man there's nothing like really good um, Yu-Gi-Oh artwork I absolutely love it so uh, that completes round 32 for us again big thanks to the users who sent in this particular submission I know it's rather small um, unfortunately these guys had to wait quite a while uh, in order to get these cards back part of that being in the round uh, was so small and the actually PSA actually will maximize turnaround time uh, I feel like they're maximi maximized turnaround time regardless of whatever whatever order you send in but um, yeah, these guys are uh, very patient, so thank you much, guys, for waiting uh, as we uh, got back up to speed here. But uh, fantastic round, small round. I like the occasional small round. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Again, if you're interested in having your cards PSA graded, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, links there in the description box, so feel free to uh, pop those open, take a look. I have information regarding PSA grading, and uh, I have um, contact methods for myself as well. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, more uploads to follow.